What's going on everybody? Jay Lawson here and I am back. Before I get started, if you enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more math tutorial videos. Um, today, we're going to be going into another arithmetic reasoning problem. Um, we're going to be talking about a problem dealing with a variable, a real world situation. Uh, this was taken from a practice ASVAB exam. So you definitely will see uh, problems like this on the ASVAB. So I want to make sure you guys know how to uh, solve these type of problems. So let's uh, jump right into it and see what we got going on. It says that a grocery store owner sells two bags of oranges for each bag of apples. She also sells six bags of onions for each bag of oranges. If she sells 12 bags of onions, how many bags of apples will she sell? So we're dealing with uh, three different uh, grocery store items that are in this, uh, this woman's store. And we're trying to figure out based on, um, you know, how many of one we sell, we sell a certain amount of another. We're trying to figure out how to solve this. So what we want to do is set this up as a uh, one variable system because it's all interrelated. Um, for example, if you look at the beginning, it says two bags of oranges for each bag of apples. So the oranges are related to the apples. And then the second part says that she sells six bags of onions for each bag of oranges. So the onions are related to the oranges and the oranges are related to the apples. Therefore, we can do it all with one variable. Um, so if we look at the first part, we've got two bags of oranges for each bag of apples. So what stands out to me is that we're doing double the amount of oranges for the apples. So the apples are the smaller uh, amount. So what we want to do is set our variable X. We'll let X e equal the number of apples. So just uh, going back, the reason why I did that is because the apples are the the lower quantity, because if you look at the second part, she's selling more onions, six bags of onions for the oranges, and she's selling two bags of oranges for the apples. So the apples are the, the lower quantity, and that's why I picked it for X. You could pick any one for X, but you would be dealing in fractions when you start figuring out the others in relation. So it's easier to go with the lower, uh, the lower quantity as the variable. So we'll let X equal the number of apples. And if X equals the number of apples, let's try to figure out what the oranges would be. If we sell two bags of oranges for each bag of apples, if we sell X apples, we are going to sell two X oranges. So 2x would be the value of the oranges. And the way I got that was because it says for every bag of apples, we're selling two bags of oranges. So if we sell x bags of apples, we're going to sell 2x bags of oranges. So for example, if uh, we sold one apple, we would sell two oranges. So if x was one, then the oranges have to be two times one or two. All right, now let's look at the third, the second part of the uh, question. She also sells six bags of onions for each bag of oranges. So, so she's selling six times the number of oranges to make onions. So six times the number of the onions. I'm sorry, six times the number of oranges make how many onions she will sell, because if she sells one bag of oranges, then she has to sell six bags of onions. So it's going to be six times. So we know oranges is equal to 2x. So the value for onions would be six times 2x. And the reason for that is because we said that she's selling six bags of onions for each bag of onion, oranges, six bags of onions for each bag of oranges. So six times 2x will give us the value of the onions. And we can uh, simplify that to just multiply 6 times 2x and we get 12x. So 12x is the value of the onions. 
And just going back again, it's because whatever we have for the oranges, the 2x, we have to multiply that times 6 to see how many we sell in onions. So the 12x captures that. All right, so now let's look at the final part. If she sells 12 bags of onions, how many bags of apples will she sell? So what do we know about onions? We know onions is 12x, right? So all we have to do is let 12x equal the number of onions we are trying to sell because 12x equals the onions. So if we know we sold 12 bags of onions, then 12x would have to be equal to 12. And that's very easy to simplify as well because we can just divide by 12 on both sides. See, we have the 12x equals 12. If we divide the left side by 12, we get 12 divided by 12, or 1x. And if we divide the right side by 12, we have 12 divided by 12, which is 1. So x equals 1. Now, what does x equal? x equals the number of apples. So we know that if we sell 12 bags of onions, we will sell one bag of apples. Now we can check this against the oranges because we can to see if it makes sense. So if we sell, so looking back at the beginning, we sell two bags of oranges for each bag of apples, right? So that means if we sold one bag of apples, we would have sold, sold two bags of oranges. And let's push that forward to the onions. If we sold two bags of onions, we know we sell six bags. I'm sorry, two bags of oranges. We know we sell six bags for every two bags of oranges. So we can multiply the two times six and get right back to 12, which is what we figured. And that's how you would uh, check your work. So the answer to this question is one, because what they're asking us is how many bags of apples will she sell? And on the ASVAB, this is going to be a multiple choice question. Uh, it's going to probably be very similar. You may see some uh, numbers moved around, but now you know how to answer it. Just look at the variable that's going to be the, the lower uh, number to so that you don't have to deal in fractions and uh, go from there, you know, work your way through the problem with the step by step. Um, if you have any uh, questions or concerns, leave them in the comments. Be sure to click like and subscribe. And remember, if you always aim at legendary, you will land in success. I'm out.